Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. We're out here on Preston Highway at the Sichuan House. It is just opened up, so usually I don't review places unless they've been around, give them time to work the kinks out. But I've heard such good reports about this place that I had to go ahead and come. And also, they got a 4.8 Google rating, which that is very good. Sichuan, I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna let uh, Ryan take over. We got Ryan back today. Jack Harlow's twin. Go ahead, Ryan, tell them. All right, so uh, what I've looked into, Szechuan is supposed to be the most popular type of cuisine in China. Hot and spicy. Sometimes they say sweet and spicy as well. So, you know, I'll see what we get into. That They're very well known for their Szechuan pepper too, so. I take it that's a Szechuan pepper up there on that sign. Yeah. With a spatula, the spatula doesn't grow with it, so okay. that's something that they put on it. Well, I like the sound of what I'm hearing. You can't make it spicy enough, so I'm getting a little excited. Well, yeah, I looked at the menu and they've got some stuff that's listed as spicy, so let's see what they can do. Okay, and while I'm thinking about it, check out his new YouTube channel, Keep It Cool With Sheets. Go ahead and give a little plug. Oh yeah, you know, I want to do, uh, go ahead and stay. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers, which is a pretty good landmark, you know, for- yeah. YouTube and that it's in, a, in a less than a month. Once we hit that 1,000, I've got a special interview that I'm going to do with a guy that's in a movie. Not a big movie, but a great movie, and I will shout out to it. I would like for you all to watch it. I'll give you more information on that later on. All right, hit that subscribe and notification bell on my channel and, of course, Ryan's. All right, enough the gum flapping and the chin music. We're going to go on in and get some food now. Before Ryan and I get started, I need to show a preview of this coming Thursday's upload. I'm going to be doing a review at Taco Choza, but during that review, I'm going to be doing a heat-related challenge of flatline hot sauce. I've been getting a lot of requests lately to be doing heat challenges, so this is the ultimate challenge. Flatline is supposed to be the hottest hot sauce in the world, so you don't want to miss this one, and I'm even going to give you a little teaser clip now. All right, it's flatline time. I went to the, my maker with a full stomach. That's a lot. It might yeah. be too much. I'll take a little bit of that off. Yeah, yeah that's good. Get 911 on speed dial. Well, that's going to be hot. There's no way. There's no way. Oh. It gets worse. Oh. So be sure and stay tuned for Thursday, 3 o'clock. And now, back with Ryan at the Sichuan House. All right. I already like what I'm seeing and smelling. I just walked in the door, and the flavor, the aroma, is already tantalizing my taste buds. All right. Excuse me. Coming in. Me, I'm sorry. Love the decor. Pardon me. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, they, this place is really nice. You know, and look at the ornate ceilings. They got some really cool booths. Got the corner booths over there. I think me and Ryan, if they'll let us sit there, I think it's got my name on it. And they got other little cozy booths, but yeah. Nice to see. All right. Uh, we have two menus. Uh, we do American Chinese food and also we do uh, authentic? authentic Chinese uh, cuisine. Which one is the spiciest? Yeah, the authentic. The authentic is the spiciest? Yeah. Okay, because that's what I'm going for. Okay, you can I want the hottest thing you got. Okay, no problem. And I'm not scared. Don't don't tame it down. Okay. Don't be afraid. I want want my money back. None of that. We will try our best. Okay. All right. You can check our uh, picture in Google Maps. Yes. 
All right. I appreciate that. As you see, we got the, the cozy honeymoon booth here. Plenty of space. <laughs> All right. We're going to order some food. And uh, you just heard that. He's talking about they got the spicy hot stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you. All right, Ryan. He's got his appetizers. What you got there? This is the sliced beef and ox tongue. I've never had it before, so I thought, well, I gotta try it. I heard him say it also has brisket and beef tripe. Which this must be the tripe, right? It looks like it. I'll go into that first because I've never had it and I'm kind of scared, but. Don't be scared of it. I'm not good with chopsticks and obviously I'm not that good with a fork either. It is. It's definitely different, but it, it's very good. Spicy. Smells good. I am. Um, love brisket, so. And you're right. The, the tripe is kind of like a chewy texture. Mm hmm But I do like the peppery seasoning that they've got with it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like uh, when people tell you they're going to Chinese places. They just kind of throw Chinese under one umbrella. Mm -hmm. I like to get into the different cuisines or like the Sichuan or dim sum menus and, you know, Cantonese, you know, Chinese can be a lot different yeah. than each other. Yeah, and you know, I, when we got out here, I said I wanted to try something I've never had before. I've had this before. This is crab rangoon. Yeah, I'd say every yeah. Chinese restaurant probably has crab rangoon, no matter what part of China they derive from. It almost looks like it's cooked to perfection, though. I don't know if you can hear that. Yep. And you got your sweet and spicy sauce there. Get a little Let's dab see if you of that. can dribble that down your shirt. It's gonna on the happen. First bite. Mmm. Mmm. Had to eat it on one bite. I wish I had caught that because I was concentrating on your shirt. <laughs> I was going to wait for the sauce to come down, but you, you got it all. Yeah, I had to go for one. And once I started biting into it, the cream cheese started to want to come. And I'm like, well, I don't want to have cream cheese all over my face. You went ahead and did the Captain Quint, swallowed it whole. I did. All right. Very good. Probably the best crab rangoon I've had, to be honest with you. And I've hmm. had crab rangoon in a lot of places. Something about the way that this one's got a good crisp to it. So okay. Check it out. All right, and since you're talking about how good that is, I'm going to have to get a little bite of that beef tripe. appetizer and you notice I said the word first as in plural this is the Dan Dan noodle not at all what I was expecting but these look like dumplings like my grandma would make and I'm not even sure what this is well no wonder I didn't know what it was that was actually Ryan's entree that I was digging into there sorry about that Ryan but you know we're blood brothers Oh wow. And what's this called again? Spicy stir fry hot pot. Spicy stir fry hot pot. Yeah. That's one of my entrees. You see there it's got huge shrimp. And what other meat besides the shrimp are in here? This one is ham. Ham, okay. And what else? Can you just go ahead and tell everything that's in it? Um this one is tofu skin, shrimp, and uh uh, lotus seaweed. Okay. Pork belly. Fish pork belly. Okay, yeah. there we go. Fish fillet. Fish fillet. Pork okay. intestine. Pork intestine. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. And uh, mushroom. 
Okay, man, it sounds like harps from heaven. That string music playing in my ear. Lionel Richie might be coming to join us. Definitely spicy. And by the way, while I'm thinking about it, I've got a new sponsor. If you're looking to buy a house or sell a house here in the Louisville area or in the outside region, you need to check out this commercial with the lovely Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa George, your Kentucky Realtor, and thank you, Barry, for making me a part of this today. Uh, recently, I was asked, so what sets you apart from all the other realtors? And my gut reaction was, I take care of my people. I always put my heart and soul into helping all of my people like they're my family. So, you know, buying a house, it, it's a big deal, and I take it very seriously. It's personal, but it doesn't have to be complicated. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, I'm your girl. I will make sure to fight for you and get you everything you want. So just call me, 502-836-3100. Oh yeah, I got my own little campfire too. Fire! That's why they call it the hot pot. And here's my Dan Dan noodles. This is actually looks like what I thought I was ordering. All right, so. Go ahead and try your fish. Thank you. What was it you got there? This is the fish and cabbage. Okay. It's a mushroom and the pickled cabbage. What is that stringy thing there that looks like noodles? What is that? Mushroom. Enoki mushroom. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Enoki mushroom. Can you ladle that out? Let me see it again there, Ryan. That's, I've never seen anything like that. That's really cool. All right. Give her a taste there, Ryan. Tell me what you think. A little splash there. Here's the money shot, folks. Might be a little bit hot here. That cabin in there. That's really good, but man, that was hot. <laughs> I have to let it cool a little bit before man, I Man, you it. just took one for the team. All right, all right. Got the Dan Dan noodles. I want to try to use my chopsticks. <coughs> when I was taking that bite, when I was slurping the noodles and inhaling, the vapors from the peppers went down my throat. And believe it or not, I love that feeling. <coughs> That's when you know it's good, folks. Steam duck and beer. All right. Thank you. Steam duck and beer. Check that out. Man, we got some eating to do here. Well, you know what? You know I'm fat. I ain't got time to play with them chopsticks. Mm. All right, even though I ordered the duck as my second appetizer, I'm gonna go ahead, being that I stole some of Ryan's food, I'm gonna go ahead and, and let him have some of my duck. Go ahead. I've never had duck before. Help yourself. So this will be one time I had it was in that Oriental House review. Now he did Those ladies were nice enough to share with me. He did warn us that there's some bone in there, so I'm careful right. here. You know what they always say, the bone, the meat on the bone is always the sweetest. That's, um, that's really good. Definitely unique. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's real tender. I don't, I don't feel like it's really spicy, but it's it's got a really good flavor to it. I would definitely enjoy <clears throat> eating that as a meal. All right. I forgot to tell you about what was in the Dan Dan noodles. It's actually got chives and pork. And, of course, it's in a chili broth. Mmm. All right. Now we're moving on. To my hot pot comes with the steamed rice. Ah, 
get that shrimp in there. Get some of the broth. What is this round thing over here? Is that a vegetable? Or? This thing? Yeah. I forgot what he called that. Wow, I'm getting, there's the pork belly. Let me get some of that gravy. Seaweed. Let's see how spicy this is. Mm. It is spicy. You see that chili pepper there? That they've uh, cooked with it. And if you want to know if they got fresh shrimp, there you go. Man, I ain't got time to play. Just eat it shell and all. It's a shell of a bite. Mm. It also has some of those mushrooms that you had in yours. What's it called? I, what kind of mushrooms is I that? I can't remember now. Not he's sure. Said, a taco, a lot of something stuff else. He said a lot of stuff. But uh, I wasn't really able to. Well. They came through. Definitely spicy. Mm. The flavors are just unbelievable. Plus the spice, it's incredible. Gotta take a bite of this rice just to cool off a little bit. Mm. Okay, now that his soup or whatever that is is cooled down go ahead and give it a nice bite there oh you're talking about the spice getting that's got a good spice to it delicious though i mean it makes me want to cry a little well bit. i was just about to say i see tears welling up that's how you know it's good <laughs> it's tears of happiness Tears of joy. <laughs> oh, that is, that's really good, though. I, I wasn't sure how to attack it, though, because I mean, there's so much stuff in there. I'm liking everything about this place. Pretty sure one of my sources that recommended this place was Don Hilrich. He knows all the best Asian places and Chinese places here in town. Definitely. Definitely caught me by surprise. I mean, you know, like I said, try something I never had before. I never order soup when I go anywhere. But this has caught my attention. Not just because of the fish, but I like cabbage as well. So I'm like, hey. I just now realize that, man, you ordered something really healthy. That well, goes against my grain. I, well, I offset it with the crab rangoon, though. You know, gotta right. get fried. Mm -hmm. Doctor's appointment this week. So if my doctor sees this, you know. You're going to impress him. Okay. I just bit in, just had one of these lotuses. I don't know really what it is, but it tastes really good. But what I really like is the crunchy texture. And for that fact, all the vegetables have a good crunchy texture. Not overcooked. Everything's just wonderful. All right. Time for the grand finale. Time to get into my duck. It's still steaming hot, and I've had it for about 20 minutes. Now, this does have bone in it, so be careful with the bone. Kind of like eating goat, I guess. Got all the vegetables, the bell peppers, potatoes, onion. Kind of like a duck stew.
I love this flavor. I haven't had anything else like it. It's kind of got a, like a beef flavor to me. I was thinking it'd be kind of more like a dark meat chicken, but this has the texture and flavor of beef. Mmm. Kind of like eating rib tips. Of course, it's got that chili pepper broth or Sichuan pepper broth, I should say. Good crispy textured vegetables. Really good. You hadn't even needed to bust out the grace today. Always travel with grace just in case. But, as he said, no need. This is plenty hot. Here in the Ohio River Valley, if you if you have like allergies or anything like that, everything's coming into bloom, you want to clear your head, I definitely recommend come here and get some of this food because it will open you right up. Point out that I barely even dug into the soup and I'm already full. Ryan just pointed something out to me when I was illegally eating his food. I said that it was dumplings made like grandma. Well, I was furthest from the facts. Tell us what you got there, Ryan. That's just a piece of fish. Right. It does look like a dumpling. So all those things I said were like grandma dumplings was actually fish pieces loaded with fish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's quite a bit of it. Delicious. It looks it. You need some of this grace? No. No, you know, I, I actually think that if we tried to add like a regular hot sauce to it, I think it would take away from what they've got going. Their spice is a different type You're of right. spice. You're right. A whole different kind of flavor going on there. It's not like going and getting chicken tenders and throwing whatever on it. You heard it, folks. No grace needed here. All right. Ryan was nice enough to let me try his crab rangoon. You know, it's appetizers, but the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Mmm. Very good. I'm not really that much of a crab rangoon type of guy, but that's delicious. Just filled with, uh, what is that, cream cheese, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Cream cheese and imitation crab meat, but still. I like imitation crab meat better than real crab meat, except for Alaskan king, colossal king crab. That's on a whole different level. The only place I've ever really heard of having real crab in their rangoon was when the gourmet provisions was open. He, he won't use imitation. He right. told me that. He's a purist. Mm -hmm. It's too bad that I didn't get to go there before he shut down, but he is still doing catering. Uh, check out his Facebook page, Gourmet Provisions. He does big time catering and will make meals for 50, 75 people. All right, we're winding things down here. Just to look, look at some of the carnage that's taking place. And I'm not even gonna front, I'm gonna be taking a lot of this home. It would be a sin to go to a Chinese restaurant and not try the egg roll. Now the only downfall I, I have to this meal is that they don't have their own house mustard and I have to use the mustard out of the pack and that's fine I like this mustard out of the pack but the house mustards are usually 10 times hotter and you know I love that heat all right here we go good pork egg roll not greasy at all really good Hot and crunchy. You'll probably hear that crunch in my microphone here. By the way, all that food I got was 64, which you're probably thinking, $64, one person. Those were three full meals I just had, plus that egg roll and a drink. So, and all those meals I had, well, besides the Dan Dan noodles, that was one meal. But those other two I had, 
were actually made for up to one to three people on each. So you could bring a family here and eat like a king for $64. Okay, we're about ready to wrap things up, but Ryan's got him a fortune cookie. It can't be official without doing the fortune cookie. So I'll go ahead and unveil the uh, fortune. I don't know about this one. I really don't know about this one. You will attain the highest levels of intelligence. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm not making it up. All right. So, to show the level of intelligence, I'm going to add some hot mustard to my cookie. Because, why not? Exactly. Thank you, sir. You know, actually, that's not bad. Not good, but it's not bad. <laughs> so, I just want to point out, they have two menus here. They have the Chinese-American menu, where you can get, like, the general so chicken, the cashew chicken, orange chicken, you know, different type of typical Chinese restaurant dishes. But we both ordered all of our food, except for the egg roll, off the authentic Chinese menu. So oh, the crab rangoon, too. Oh, yeah. But. Gotta have the crab rangoon and the egg rolls. But anyway, what'd you think about yours? It was amazing. Um, you know, the big thing is, like you said, that bowl of soup can feed a family. I mean, I brought, I've brought, got a whole quart that I'm taking home. Right, it was a half gallon of soup. Yeah. And the uh, appetizers were really good. I've never had either of the items that I'd ordered other than the crab rangoon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was like, hey, I'm going in. I got to try something different. I can't just go and order General Tso's chicken or right. bourbon chicken, which is good in its own right. So don't, don't get me wrong. But. On my spicy hot pot thing, I got a quart of leftovers just from that. So there was at least a half gallon of food in this thing here. Like I said, actually, really, honestly, one family could have come in here and all gotten full probably just off of this alone. And that there would be a very nice hat. Yeah. <laughs> like I'd a, try it on, but I don't want to get Like a UFO? On, yeah. All right. Well, uh, anything else, Ryan, before we get out of here? Hey, keep it cool. And don't forget, stay tuned. Going to Daytona next week. And y'all don't know nothing about this Sichuan house. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.